the University of West London is undergoing a vast £50 million building and refurbishment project and are officially the world's largest Focusrite RedNet installed faculty. We spent some time seeing what they have in store for the future and how RedNet is redefining the educational focus for the London College of Music, a school within the UWL. Specialist, subject resource and technical manager Richard Liggins tells us more. Overall, I think there's 20 live uh, technical recording studios and, and teaching rooms and the labs. We also have a radio station uh, as well, so we're, we're, we're covered across the board. The campus has already undergone the first phase of its ambitious building project. Both sites possess a record number of RedNet interfaces covering Analog, AES, MADI, Mic Pre and Pro Tools HD needs. The music and post studio on the basement level is one of many state-of-the-art environments, ranging from recording studios, animation labs, rehearsal and recital spaces. Disregarding the ground floor, the first floor's RedNet-enabled locations include video production, big band and small band rehearsal facilities, further recording studios and the switch room, which will link both sites seamlessly via Cat6 future-proof cabling. Floor 2 has art design and media rooms, as well as smaller piano suites and band teaching studios. The third floor utilises RedNet in its video production and editing labs, as well as an art facility. The fourth and final floor has motion graphics, art design and media offices, all connected with RedNet devices. The heart space, which is in the process of construction, is a dedicated social and performance space for students, including a cinema, AV suites, green rooms, cafes, bars and restaurants. Above the ground floor are also motion capture, graphics, video and photography labs, all with various RedNet devices. Okay, this is the demolition of C-Block. This is the first phase of the um, preparation for the new build that's going to go on for the rest of the year. It will be complete in uh, summer next year. Um, we'll be connecting this up for RedNet, the, the whole place will be RedNetted, so that we can use it as performance and recording space um, as and when we, we, uh, we need to. Well, I think, I think RedNet has, is making a, a big impact on, on the way that we're teaching now. Um, on a number of different levels, I think first of all there's the, the level of integrating network audio into how we teach at the very sort of ground level of our teaching. Um, it's also, I think, really good for the students in terms of them gaining a greater understanding of, of the role of a converter. You know, actually, I, the fact that they've got the, the sort of RedNet control they're seeing exactly how the signal flow works through, works through the console. And I think, again, it's very important with our students that they, they understand signal flow, they understand what's going on through the desk, which allows them then to explore their, their creative side. We were looking around to see what our options were, and we got a whole bunch of stuff in and had a shootout. Uh, and the notion for me was, what does it sound like? Is it good enough to replace all the I.O. we've got? I was very, very impressed by, by how, it, how it sounded, as I say, having, having heard the, uh, a bunch of sort of competitors. For me, it, it offered a slightly more clinical, um, detailed um, presentation that still retained musicality, because I think it's important to have, to be able to listen with both sort of a very technical mind and a very musical mind when working with music, and I think RedNet strikes a, an excellent balance. I was very surprised at how good the RedNet interfaces sounded. The, they had a, a, a very definite um, a quality and image quality to them. They had a depth of field and a detail. They handled bass really well. Uh, they show a definite improvement in, in things like stereo imaging, certainly. Um, and when you run them through uh, an audience desk or through the, the Neve desk that we have, they, they have a quality to them that, that is very pleasing. It's very musical um, uh, and there's a transparency to it that means you, you can get the best out of the recordings that you're making. In the end, if they hadn't sounded any good, we wouldn't have bought them. So the networks thing aside, it is down to the quality of, uh, of the kit and the quality of the sound. They're great.